join us here today at day ticket venue Hollybush Lakes in Hampshire. We just managed to slip the net under this pretty little mid double mirror. This one was taken on a bottom bait using the new Dark Covert Widegate Talent Tip hooks. We're going to slip this one back and then show you the rig that we've caught it on. So we've just slipped that lovely scaly fish back. We're going to take the opportunity now to run through the rig that we found success on today. Starting off with the main line, I'm using an 18 pound GT HD. The venue here is really quite weedy, so I'm going for a stronger main line just to help with the abrasion resistance of the weed and to deal with the fish finding sanctuary in the weed. We then move down to the lead core. I've got around four foot of the 35 pound cam flex and I'm fishing rotary style today with a helicopter set up. The lead itself, the bolt bomb is attached via a dropout chod clip. Again, if the fish do find sanctuary of the weed, it's just going to help to release the lead and free the fish a little bit easier with constant pressure. The rig itself is attached to a flexi ring quick lock swivel and I'm fishing with around about six inches of 25 pound ultra skin. The hook itself is one of the new dark covert size six wide gate talon tips. Really, really like these hooks. They are super, super sharp. The hair is being trapped onto the shank of the hook right around the bend using a small piece of XT silicon tubing. And then I'm finishing off the rig with a small piece of shrink tube and using a sewing needle to then bring the line back out of that liner liner style. The rig's then finished off with a piece of putty down the middle just to help keep everything pinned out of harm's way where the fish are going to be feeding. Really simple to tie. All you need to do is start off with around about 10 or 12 inches of the 25 pound ultra skin. We're then going to use the peel and pull stripper tool to take about four inches of the coating off of the braid. Once you've done that, you're going to take a small piece of the XT silicon tube in around about three or four mil in length and thread that onto the line. You then take your size six wide gate talon tip and you're going to pass that through the XT silicon tube in to mount it also onto the braid. The rig is then attached into place using a simple knotless knot. Once we've done that, we're then going to take our small piece of shrink tube around about a centimetre, 15 mil, I suppose, in length. Push it just over the eye so that you end up with around about a centimetre below the eye. We then take our sewing needle. We're going to pass the braid onto the sewing needle and then we're going to actually pass the sewing needle through the piece of shrink tube in around about three mil from the end so that it brings that braid back out liner liner style. Once we've done that, we're going to pass an anti-tangle sleeve on and then finish off the rig with a double overhand knot. That then finishes off your rig and just to keep it out of harm's way, we're going to finish off just with a small amount of critical mass putty in the middle. Really like this rig, I've been using it on all different venues up and down the country. It suits those clearer spots really well where you're presenting baits on the bottom, getting the fish grubbing around on those cleaner areas. And it's caught me fish, as I say, from not only this venue, lots of other venues. So next time you're on the bank, why not give it a go and see if it can put a few fish on the bank for yourself too.